When I grew this pepper, I made the decision to grow it very late. So this is what it looked like on May 28th. I started two of them and I kept the largest. I used the plastic forks to protect the small plants from cats. By July 15th, because of the late start, it still wasn't all that large. If you look carefully, you can see where I've pinched off the ends of the branches so it would encourage the plant to grow more bushy instead of tall. The foliage is a mixture of green and dark purple, almost black. Over the next month, it grew quite a bit, and on August 25th, this is what it looked like. It had quite a few peppers on it already, and the peppers blend in very well with the foliage, so they're kind of hard to see. By September 6th, the plant was about 3 feet tall by 3 feet wide, and the peppers were starting to gain some size. I had it growing in a 5-gallon container. Here you can get a better look at some of the peppers. On October 23rd, this is what it looked like. Before it had a lot of ripe peppers on it because of our very late start. As the peppers get larger and start to ripen, they also get a little bit heavier. So as you can see, the ends of the branches are starting to hang down. This view gives you a pretty good idea of just how productive this pepper is. It produces a lot of peppers. Even though there are a lot of ripe peppers on the plant, you can see that there's still a lot of unripe ones too. So if you're going to grow a puma pepper, I would suggest getting a very early start. When it comes to heat, puma peppers compare to a habanero. Habaneros come in about 100,000 to 350,000 on the Scoville scale, and puma peppers come in at about 300,000 to 400,000. Puma peppers are some of the prettiest peppers that I've ever grown. I've scaled back the heat level on some of the peppers that I grow, so I probably won't be growing these again. But for somebody who likes really hot peppers, this might be one to try. Here you can get a better idea of the size of the peppers while I hold some in my hands. Let us know if you've ever grown Puma peppers and what you thought of them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.